Somehow being gay was the most terrible thing you could possibly be. And I, I just didn't understand that. The CBS News Public Opinion Survey indicates that sentiment is against permitting homosexual relationships between consenting adults without legal punishment. There was no such thing as coming out or being out. The very idea of being out is, it was ludicrous. And people talk about being in and out now. There was no out, there was just in. The Stonewall pulled in everyone from every part of gay life. What was so good about the stone wall was you could dance slow there. You couldn't show any affection out in the street. We were at the back of the room, and the lights went on. So everybody stopped what they were doing. The police started coming in, uh, raiding the bar. The place is under arrest. When you exit, have some identification, and it'll be over in a short time. This time, they said, we're not going. That's it. We're not going. Something snapped. It's like, what's, this, this is not right. This, this, what are we being beat up for? You know, for, for wanting to dance? I was not going to allow them to keep uh, oppressing me. And if I was going to go down, I was going to go down fighting. All of a sudden, pandemonium broke loose. For the first time, we weren't letting ourselves be carted off to jails. We weren't letting ourselves be cowed and intimidating. Gay people were actually fighting back. It was thrilling. It was the only time I was in a gladiatorial sport that, you know, I, I, I stood up in. I was proud. I was a man. In the civil rights movement, we ran from the police. In the peace movement, we ran from the police. The police ran from us, and they ran from faggots. There was no going back. We had discovered a power that we weren't even aware that we had. <laughs>